Hey, what's going on guys? It's Rick with Rick's Toy Room. After a couple weeks, we are officially back. Um, obviously, for those of you that do know, we are on the west coast of Florida, and we just got a back-to-back -back one a week for the last two weeks straight hurricanes. Uh, we got hit with Helene and then Milton. Uh, both did very, very minor damage and inconvenience to us personally. However, uh, friends and family have gotten pretty screwed. And Alta, uh, the area has been without fuel for quite some time. So getting out to do some hunting, even to do some basic shopping has been a challenge for us in the last week. Uh, up until yesterday, I basically had no fuel in the Wrangler. So I was out riding my bike to get some snacks and to get pizza the other day. Uh, finally, the fuel station got enough fuel for me to be able to restock. So we went and did a little hunting. Uh, hit a dump bin at the local Walmart that had brand new P cases. Uh, the, the dump bins were completely picked through. All the cars were missing, but um, I did grab a couple and only a handful. I originally had about 35 cars in my hand and then I put most of them back because I actually have uh, P cases factory sealed coming from Entertainment Earth later on uh, in the next coming week or so. Um, so I just grabbed what I absolutely wanted out of this pile, but I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I pulled. So like most other people, I did grab the small blocks. Um, I actually do like this car. Not that I needed it immediately, but I wanted it. So I was like, hey, look, cool little car to grab. Um, I picked up the Chevelles. I am a fairly big, you know, classic muscle car. So the Chevelles in this like mute yellow, uh, pretty slick actually i love the engine block coming up out the hood the stripes uh sweet little looking car of course uh the ford gt all white with the red racing stripe uh definitely thought it was a slick looking car then grabbed a couple of the ford gt race now i have seen where this one has an error where they double stamped the 17 on them uh this actually matches the exact same uh, color and deco as the Chevelles and Corvettes that Walgreens has had for an exclusive the last few years. So it actually would look really nice up on the wall next to the Walgreens exclusives. Uh, picked up a Mc, another McLaren repaint, McLaren P1. Uh, slick candy apple red. Uh, very beautiful looking car. Needed to add it to the supercar collection. Uh, this one I originally thought was part of the uh, Metal Series, but apparently it's not. It is the Austin Martin. So they gave it almost that Zamac looking color scheme. This actually looks like it might be paint and not uh, bare zinc metal. And then all the deco on it. Just thought it was a slick Austin Martin. And then grabbed up the Tread Shedder. Now this is very close to the Treasure Hunt they've already released. At first, I thought it was the treasure hunt they released, but it's just a redeco of that. Uh, cool little car. Then, look, you guys know how excited I was when this came out uh, originally, so I had to go ahead and buy it again. Now in the repaint, and that is the uh, rink, the rink racer. This is the Zamboni, and if you see at the back. You can actually pop the hood off to do the full like ice scoop and then add the little guy from the shopping carts. But I picked that up because I love this particular car and the more colors they do in that, I will be ecstatic. Last two that I picked up, the Mercury Cougar Eliminator. Again, classic Detroit muscle. Nice little car. Thing with this green color, I don't know what's going on this year. And then I grabbed the repaint of the Arkham Knight in the blue with the blue rims. You know how I am about Batmobiles. Um, I only bought one of these. They had like five of them in the bin, but I figured, like I said, I've got a couple cases coming myself. I'll just take them case fresh when they get here. Otherwise, not many people buy them, so they, uh, they'll be around for a minute. With that, um, I don't know if I showed you guys. I just show you. I showed you the Transformer sets, um, the Transformer car cultures. They actually were already released they were a Walmart exclusive, and they've been recalled. Um, apparently, after they made them, a bunch of people lost their mind 
because why wouldn't they? It's 2024. Uh, crying because the paint deco on the Ford Mustang police cruiser was exactly the way it was shown in the Transformers movie, where it says to enslave and uh, instead of serve protect, it was enslave and something. Focus groups lost their damn mind, so they did a recall. <sighs> Mattel did a recall on the cars, and they are extremely hard to get your hands on right now. Walmart pulled them. I have reached out to a few counterparts overseas, and even those guys don't have the full five car sets. Apparently, Mattel basically stopped production of them. So, if you find someone that has them, the as of this morning, the most recent auction is two hundred dollars for all five of the cars. Um, the individual Mustang by itself, I'm hearing, is going for about one hundred and fifty. Do I want to spend $500 or $200 on five Hot Wheels right now? No. Will I? Yes. So um, I'm going to wait till payday. I've got other things I need to get done this week. So after payday, I will most likely get on eBay and buy them from the guy that's got them. Unless, of course, my guys overseas, they can uh, get me a couple without going through the headache. I've got a buddy that's in Taiwan. He makes trips over to uh, Malaysia and China all the time. Uh, he, he's actually a pilot over there. So I'm hoping that uh, he will run into a couple places that have them and can hook me up. We'll see. But with that, uh, again, this week I've got tracking uh, on scope right now for Wednesday to receive the three factory M cases. If you guys want a factory sealed case and take a shot at pulling the super, let me know. We'll negotiate a deal. Otherwise, I'll throw them up on the Hot Wheel Facebook groups. Following next couple weeks will be the N and P. Waiting for Entertainment Earth to announce the Q. And the 2025s. So, excuse all the yawning. I've been up pretty much nonstop for two days. Just getting some stuff handled. Uh, and catching up now that, like I said, I got some fuel in the car. So with that, guys, you know the drill. Like, follow, share. Let me know if you're interested in the factory sealed cases. Entertainment Earth also has full factory standees like the uh, Publix and the um, like Family Dollar stands uh, for the same price as a normal 72 car case. They have a stand with uh, 72 cars in it. And then for 75 bucks, they've got a stand with 60 cars. These stand, these uh, retailer, especially retailer stands, normally do come with at least one treasure hunt, possibly a super. Um, I pulled a super out of the Publix when they've gotten them. I'm contemplating ordering these because it's almost a guarantee that there's going to be something in it. And for the same case of same cost as a case, the problem is normally these are very old cars, so they are not going to be the most recent cases. So uh, the concern is going to be what's going to be in them, and I don't know if it's worth the hundred bucks for probably a super that's not worth a hundred. I mean, the Firebirds in there, kind of a wash, but we'll see. Anyhow, I'm out of here, guys.